I'm going to show you how to take what's trending on medium.com, use those ideas to write new articles with Claude 3, and then post them daily for your publication, for your medium profile, or for your readers. And the best part is this is all done automatically for you without you having to lift a finger so that you can focus on the most important tasks in your business. All right, let's get started. First off, head on over to autoblogger.app. Just a heads up, the name of this app is changing soon. I wanted to use something that's all-encompassing, especially for what we're trying to accomplish. Autoblogging is just one feature in this program. And eventually, the plan is to have hundreds of different AI tasks running on autopilot for you. So the name is changing. It's going to be called YourAIAgent.com. But in the meantime, we're still going to autoblogger.app. Nothing is changing here. You're going to enter your name, your email address, a password, and then re-enter the password, then click sign up. When you first sign up, it's going to take you to the connections page. We offer a variety of platforms to connect at this time. More are being added every day. And the newest integration is medium.com. So we're going to click this. Now we need to name our medium connection. I'm going to call it medium connection number one. And then we need an integration token. So to get that, it's actually pretty simple. I'm going to click on this hyperlink. If you're already logged in, it's going to take you to your medium.com settings. And it's this security and apps tab. Then scroll all the way to the bottom and click integration tokens. It's going to bring up this little pop up. So I'm just going to call this auto blogger. Click get token. It's going to give us an integration token. I'm going to copy this, go back into the settings and paste it in. Then click connect. If everything is good, it's going to show this pop up. Your medium.com profile has been connected. I'm going to click OK. It will bring us back to the connections page. And now we can see our connection right here. To ensure your profile was connected properly, in your stories, you're going to see a new draft and it's called test API call. That means everything worked as it should. Okay, next we're going to set up our API key. So I'm going to click this tab. I offer a bunch of large language models right now. We got the classic GPT-4 and GPT-3.5 Turbo, Gemini 1.0 and Gemini 1.5 Pro, Claude 3, which we're going to set up in this video. And then for images, we can set up Stable Diffusion 3. So for the Claude secret key, I'm going to click on this hyperlink. It's going to bring us to console.anthropic.com. And then I'm going to click Create Key. I'm going to call it medium.com. Click Create Key. Copy this key. Go back into the settings. Paste it in. Then I can click Test. If everything is good with your secret key, you're going to get a check mark in this button. Like OpenAI, Claude also works as a pay-as-you-go credit system, so you do have to add credits to your account. If you want this to run on autopilot forever, consider turning on auto reload. So when this credit balance is diminished, it auto tops up. When you first sign up, they do offer $5 in free credits to test Claude. Now, I don't know if it's because I live in Canada, but I wasn't able to get this free credit. It wouldn't accept my phone number. If you live in the States or elsewhere in the world, try this out. If you want images in your articles, you're going to need to hook up Stable Diffusion 3 or OpenAI to get Dolly 3 or Dolly 2. In my personal opinion, Stable Diffusion 3 produces similar, if not better quality images than Dolly 3 and it's 40 times cheaper in price. That is not an exaggeration, it's actually 40 times cheaper. If you're gonna be generating thousands of articles to your Medium profile or your Medium publication, consider using Stable Diffusion 3. I have many other videos on my channel on how to set this up. You can click this button to watch the video or click on this hyperlink to go right to your Dream Studio account. It's very simple to find your API key. Next, you're going to click on subscription, then click on subscribe. It's going to take you to a secured Stripe checkout page. A Your AI agent subscription is $9 per month. That includes unlimited connections, unlimited integrations, unlimited workflows, unlimited articles generated. If you're a personal business and you have multiple websites, 
If you're an agency and you handle multiple clients, you can do this all on the basic subscription of youraiagent.com, previously called the Autoblogger. Okay, we have subscribed. It's going to take us to the homepage. We have four AI agent tasks right now. Autoblogging, you enter a list of keywords and it will generate a new article for each of those keywords. SEO heist, this is what we'll be doing in the video. We take an RSS feed of a competitor, rewrite their articles and post them to our own website. So whatever your competitor is doing, we're gonna be doing similar things. Leave it to them to do the keyword research for them to look at what's trending. And we're gonna piggyback off of their success. We got the XBot. This is a personalized Twitter bot that tweets on your behalf. And then a Reddit bot. You choose your target subreddit. It looks for new posts and it comments on those posts as you. It's a good way to get karma, traffic back to your website, clients, direct messages. You know, it helps you build a presence on the platform. I have two new AI agent tasks on their way within the next couple days. We're going to have an Xbot auto commenter. It will comment on the Twitter profiles that you choose. And then I have another fun one coming. I'm going to keep it a surprise for now. All right, let's click SEO heist. And we have a few settings to configure for this to run properly. First, do we want our medium articles to be published or in draft? I'm going to uncheck this toggle to make it a draft post. By default, it auto selects our most recent connection, and that is the medium one. Then we're going to choose our text model. We hooked up Claude 3 Opus. So let's choose that one. For image model, I'm going to choose Stable Diffusion 3. For the language, you can choose whatever you like. I'm going to keep it on English. The link URL and link text is optional. It will add a hyperlink at the end of your article. It could be an internal link, an external link, an affiliate link. So you can be creative with this and use it to get extra traffic or extra sales. The text prompt is extra information that we send to the model. I have it right now that the output should be in HTML format. You could also tell it to write in a professional tone or be funny or tell it a bit about your business. Something like I run a dental office in Northern Texas. Any extra information that you want the model to know about you to personalize the output. And then we also have the same thing for the images. By default, I'm telling the model to use no words, illustration only, colorful and modern. If you want something less cartoony, I would delete illustration only and use keywords like photorealistic, photography, hyperrealism, maybe use camera models like Kodak. These are all tricks to get the image generator to make human-like images. And then finally, we need an RSS feed URL. For that, I like to go to rssfinder.app and I either paste in a competitor's URL right away or I enter a keyword. If I type in the Medium keyword, we see a bunch of Medium publications that we can take articles from. I'm looking at this one, Zora, Centering Women of Color in Culture, Lifestyle, and Entertainment. I'm gonna click Copy URL, go back into the SEO heist, paste it in, then click Test. If the RSS feed is successful, it's gonna show the most recent five article titles. This means that we can use this RSS feed if the RSS feed was not formatted properly, you would get an error message at the top, but this means we're good to go. We can target this. I'm gonna click Start Heist. It says an SEO heist has been scheduled. Please check your website to see the results. I'm gonna click OK. Then it takes us to the Workflows page where we can see our active workflows. This is the URL that we're targeting. This is our connection name. This is the type of AI agent task that we're performing. It says SEO heist. The interval when it checks for new articles, that's once per day. And then we have the option to cancel the workflow if we don't want it to run anymore. But this will run on autopilot forever until you cancel it. Your AI agent is working on your behalf, checking for new posts. If it sees a new post, it writes a new article and publishes it to your Medium profile. At any time, I can click the edit button. It's going to give us the edit workflow pop up. I can change my text model. Let's say I want to go Gemini 1.5 Pro now. 
my image model. Let's say I want to change it to DALI 3, maybe change my language, add a hyperlink to the bottom of the article. Maybe I should start publishing them now, change the text prompt, the image prompt, or if something is funky and it's not working as expected, I can check the error logs to see if there's something wrong with my account. Maybe my credit balance for Claude 3 has run out. This would tell me to refill the balance. All right, let's hop over to my medium.com profile to see the results. Okay, here's my newest story, the early roots of African American country music. And here is the article. First off, I love the image that Stable Diffusion 3 generated. I think this perfectly suits the article in question. And then we have all the text written by Claude 3. All right, before you go crazy with this AI agent task, let me update you on an email that I received from Medium just a few days ago. They don't like the idea of automatically generating AI content. Basically, they're not allowing this stuff to be paywalled in the partner program. Now, you can still generate these articles, but you won't directly get paid for them by Medium. You can still use these for your publication to keep creating fresh content for your readers. You can still use this to get traffic. You can still use this as a placeholder before you upload to another platform. And I'm sure you guys have a bunch of other ideas that you can use this for, but you're not going to be getting these one to two cents per article for all of this content. I don't think this is the biggest deal, but it is something that I wanted to tell you guys. If you want to use this for yourself, I'm going to drop a link in the description below. Again, we're soon moving to youraiagent.com, but for now it's autoblogger.app. There's going to be a redirect, so whichever URL you use, it won't be a problem. If you want to learn how to build these type of AI tools for yourself, if you want to integrate Claude 3 Opus into your own web app or Gemini Pro, I designed and built an online course called How to Build a Custom AI App. I'll drop a link in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal watch history. I want you to give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Peace.